shaking hands, stiff movements, stiff limbs, slow movements. What are you thinking about Parkinson's disease? That's what we're going to talk about. I'm Dr. Namita Kaul. I'm Principal Consultant Neurologist, Max Super Speciality Hospital, Vishali. Today, we're going to talk about medical management of Parkinson's disease. So what is Parkinson's disease? As I just told you, it has these cardinal features of tremors, slow movements, gait instability, and stiffness. And why does it occur? Because the neurons producing dopamine in our brain start degenerating. They just die off over age. It is an age-related disease. And because of this lack of dopamine, the circuits in the brain get affected, which control the motor coordination. And we have these varied symptoms. The symptoms can be motor and non-motor. The motor symptoms are those mainly of gait problems, slow shuffling gait, freezing, difficulty in starting uh, the movement. Then there can be facial features of uh, speech disturbances, poor expression of uh, in the face. Uh, there can be swallowing difficulties. There are tremors, as we just talk, talked about. And there can also be postural instability. Subsequently, there can be non-motor features also, uh, which can include behavioral issues, depression, psychosis. Then there can be constipation, excessive drooling of saliva, and uh, there can be sleep disturbances and so on. So what do we do about them? Uh, unfortunately, it's a progressive disease and over time the symptoms will accumulate. However, the silver lining in this grey cloud is that this is one of the degenerative diseases which is treatable by medication. Although the medication has to be lifelong, giving the right amount of medication at the right time is the best way to manage it and supplementing it with a good lifestyle, dietary, exercise helps in controlling the uh, symptoms of the patient. And in advanced stages, where the disease is progressing and the medical therapy uh, effect goes away, then surgical therapy can be added. There's a small important point which I would like to highlight for Parkinson's patients. While taking this drug levodopa, ensure that you take it empty stomach away from a major meal, either half an hour before or one and a half hours later, and it should never be taken with a protein-rich diet. That affects absorption and efficacy of the medicine. The addition of surgical therapy can help in smoothening these motor fluctuations which develop in the advanced stage of disease. So what are the options we have for surgical treatment? The most commonly studied, well studied and efficacious is deep brain stimulation. And the other uh, modalities are MRI focused pallidotomy, thalmotomy. So here specific uh, regions of bla uh, brain are burnt through ultrasonic waves and then this helps in controlling one-sided tremors or abnormal movements. However, deep brain stimulation is the best modality which uh, generally controls all the motor fluctuations. There are certain newer uh, assisted device assisted uh, therapies which have come up uh, which is like giving subcutaneous medication infusion or giving an uh, intra-abdominal uh, in the stomach or throat tube a direct dose of medication uh, levodopa, carbidopa, gel is given continuously. This is uh, when the motor fluctuations are there. It helps in controlling the situation. So to summarize, Parkinson's disease, although a progressive disease with uh, no definite cure, is definitely treatable. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.